Good morning students, uh, this is Viz Ovaleti Vijay Kumar, Assistant Professor, School of Pharmacy, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Here with I am going to be present about the classification of the doses forms. So, coming to the classification of your doses forms, the doses forms can be broadly classified into various types based on the physical form, based on the use, based on the site of application and based on the route of administration. Now, let us discuss one by one. First one, based on the physical form, we can be categorized the doses forms into three types. One is the solid doses form, next one is the liquid doses form, third one is the gaseous type of the doses form. In between to solid to liquid, semi-solid doses form is also there. So, let us see the first one, solid doses form. Solid doses forms are classified into two types, unit doses form, bulk doses form. What is a unit doses form means? Unit doses form means that have the specific amount of the drug, say for example, tablet, capsule. So, these tablets and capsule having the exact amount of the drug. Next one is the bulk doses form. Bulk doses form, they do not have the dose specificity. These bulk doses forms are classified into two types based on the route of administration. One is internally administered externally administered. Internally administered examples are finely divided powders, granules. Externally applied powder doses from examples are dusting powders, insufflations, dentifrices, snuffs and ear powders. That is all about the solid doses form. Next coming to liquid doses form. Liquid doses form means that having the two types are there. One is the monophasic liquid doses form biphasic liquid doses form. What is the difference between monophasic and the biphasic liquid doses form means? Monophasic means name itself, monophase, one phase is there. Biphasic liquid doses form, bi means two, two phases are there. One phase is get be dispersed into the another phase that is called biphasic liquid doses form. Monophasic liquid doses form again divided into two types based on the mode of administration, internally administered, externally administered. Externally administered means topically administered. Internally administered means examples are syrups, elixirs, lingchuas, pediatric drops, etc. And externally applied examples are lotions, liniments, gargles, throat paints, mouthwashes, sprays, eye lotions, eye drops, nasal drops, all these comes under the externally administered monophasic liquid doses form. As I mentioned you, biphasic liquid doses form that having the two phases, one phase is get dispersed in the another phase. For that example, sir, only two examples are there. One is the emulsion where it contains oil and water. Second one is the suspension where it contains the solid is get dispersed into the water. That is all about the liquid doses form. Third one is the semi-solid doses form. These semi-solid doses forms are again divided into two types. So, here I mentioned internal. Internal means not through the oral route, they are going to be administered into the body cavities. Suppositories. Suppositories are administered into the rectal cavity. Pessaries. Pessaries are administered into the vaginal cavity. And externally administered semi-solid doses forms means the rest of the thing ointments, creams, paste, jellies, all these things are comes under the externally applied semi-solid doses forms. As I mentioned you, solid doses form, further classification is also there. So, tablets, tablets itself many types are there. See, lozenges, orally administered tablet, buccal tablet, sublingual tablet, chewable tablet, soluble, hypodermic tablets are there. Next one, pills are there, catchets. Catchets are of two types, dry catchets, wet seal catchets. Next one, capsules. Capsules again containing the two types are there, hard gelatin capsule, soft gelatin capsule. Hard gelatin capsule contain two parts, one is the cap, one is the body. Soft gelatin capsule having only single unit. What is the difference between hard and soft gelatin capsule means? Hard gelatin capsule containing the dry powders, dry granules we are enclosing. Soft gelatin capsules in that we are enclosing the liquid type of the medicament. Next one powders, next one is the suppositories and bulk doses from for internal use and for external use. Examples ear powders, snuff powders ophthalmic powders, dusting powders, tooth powders. Next one liquid doses form as I mentioned you monophasic, biphasic. Monophasic examples internally used aqueous means drops, mixers, solutions, syrups, lingchuas are there. And hydroalcoholic preparations for that example sir, 
ఎలిగ్జర్స్ ఓరల్ టాపికల్ మౌత్ వాషెస్ గార్గిల్స్ త్రోట్ పెయిన్ట్స్ అండ్ ఇన్స్టిల్డ్ ఇన్ టు ద బాడీ క్యావిటీస్ సమ్ లిక్విడ్ డోసెస్ ఫ్రమ్ వీఆర్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రింగ్ ఇన్ టు ద బాడీ క్యావిటీస్ లైక్ ఇయర్ ఇయర్ డ్రాప్స్ నాజల్ నాజల్ డ్రాప్స్ ఐ డ్రాప్స్ స్ప్రేస్ డౌచర్స్ ఎనిమాస్ అండ్ ద నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ ద టాపికల్ సొల్యూషన్స్ లోషన్స్ పెయింట్స్ లినిమెంట్స్ అండ్ బైఫెజిక్ యాజ్ ఐ మెన్షన్ యూ ఎమల్షన్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ సస్పెన్షన్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ దే బోత్ can be categorized based on the route of administration oral emulsion oral suspension externally applied suspension externally applied emulsion topically administered emulsion and the suspension ophthalmic emulsion and ophthalmic suspension and at last parenteral ad- em- emulsion parenteral suspension semi solid doses form semi solid doses forms are classified mainly into three ways ointments creams and gels ointments are of four types are there hydrocarbon bases absorption bases water removable bases water soluble bases creams are again two types are there fatty bases emulsifying bases hydrocarbon hydrocarbon waxes oleaginous substances fatty acids and the alcohols and emulsifier creams means anionic cationic and the non ionic type of the creams are there gels are of two types aqueous gels organo gels these gels containing the polymers natural polymers semi synthetic polymers synthetic polymers and organo gels means lecithin based gelatin based sorbiton fatty acid esters and the last one tablet doses form we have the three different types of the tablets are there conventional novel coated conventional tablets means normal tablets what we are using compressed tablets the example paracetamol tablets calpol dolo all these things next one molded tablet tablet triturates these are all conventional tablets next one novel tablets novel tablets means sustained release tablets control release tablets two layer tablet two layer tablets means one layer containing one drug second layer containing another drug that type of the tablets are called two layer tablets next one cup and core cup and core means the drug is placed in the core such type of the tablets are called cup and core type of the tablets next one oro dispersible so you we might be seen uh, when we are placing the tablet in the oral cavity the tablet quickly disintegrate and immediate action we are getting we may, mainly in the condition of the vomiting we are using the oro dispersible tablets muco adhesive tablet muco adhesive tablet means we are keeping the tablet inside the cheeks Th- those are called muco adhesive tablets next one bio adhesive tablet bio adhesive tablets also we are placing inside the oral cavity and the next one sublingual tablet these tablets we are placing beneath the tongue okay such type of the tablets are called sublingual tablet especially uh, cardiac problem patients they have to use the aspirin as well as the isosorbide dinitrate tablets these when they placed in the beneath the tongue they can feel free from the cardiac problems and the next one is the coated tablets film coated tablet sugar coated tablet enteric coated tablets and the next based on the route of administration route of administration means how we are taking the doses form one is oral route topical route parenteral route administer into the body cavities so like that we can be classify oral route means powders tablets capsules suspension solutions emulsion all these things comes under the orally administered doses form parenterals means solutions suspensions emulsions parenteral para enteric other than the oral route nothing but of the injectables next one transdermal transdermal means what we are applying on the surface of your skin example ointments powders creams gels all these things next one intraocular ocular means ophthalmic cavity here we are administering for that example solutions suspensions ointments next one sublingual tablets which we are placing beneath the tongue so for that example tablets lozenges vaginal so in that we are administ- administering certain type of the doses from suppositories those are called pessaries and tablets ointments creams douches also and conjunctival this is also ophthalmic cavity for that example ointment next one rectal suppositories enemas ointments intra respiratory through the nasal cavity 
aerosols, urethral suppositories. These are all the various examples based on the route of administration. Next, so based on the site of application and uses, we have the various types of the doses forms are there. To the surface of the skin, we are using ointments, creams, lotions, liniments, eye solutions, ointments, creams, tooth, tooth powder, toothpaste, hand, hand cream, lotions, food, cream, ointment, hair, hair creams, hair lotion, shampoos, other thing and nasal, nasal solution, sprays, inhalation, uses based on the use, based on the internal use, based on the external use, we can be categorized into various types. Externally administered doses from ointments, lotions, powders, lotions, liniments, creams, all these things. And internal all preparations except the external preparations, those are called as the internally administered doses form. So, that is all about the classification of the doses form. Thank you for patiently listening. Thank you for giving me the opportunity.